Hey guys, welcome Veggie Uzumaki here. Welcome to DC vs. Vampires. I'm about to go over the entire volume one of DC vs. Vampires, so let's just jump right into it. Our story starts out with a mysterious man, might as well just call him Vampire, headed to the Hall of Justice, and he is being hunted by a man with green arrows. As he gets closer to the hall, he begins to sprint because there's no time to waste. However, he gets hit by a car. Once he gets hit by that car, though, some of his clothes are torn, revealing his flesh, and he begins to burn. Luckily for him, Hal Jordan, one of the members of the Justice League, appears, saving him from the sun. The bandaged vampire goes by the name of Andrew, and Andrew is trying to get in contact with every member of the Justice League. However, Hal Jordan tells him that they're all off-world on missions or just on missions on Earth, so they're busy at the moment. And that's when Zahn walks in, one of the Wonder Twins. Zahn is like a teenager pretty much, so he's all excited and being all goofy about seeing that there's a vampire and that hearing that vampires are real. Um, but Andrew then stresses the importance of why he's there and to how. He basically tells Hal Jordan, look man, you need to understand, the queen of vampires has been killed. And with that being said, since there's no queen, the vampires are now going to do whatever they want and wreak havoc. But that's not all. Hal then ends up asking Andrew, did you kill the queen? But Andrew denies that he did. He then tells Hal that he went to the Legion of Doom and most of the Legion of Doom, all of the villains in the DC Universe, had become vampires. He was thinking that one of the villains had killed her themselves, but that couldn't have been the case because when he walked into the Legion's headquarters, they were either, either vampires or all dead. He then revealed to them their plan of a global takeover. The whole point of this is stressing that these vampires are dangerous without their queen. Andrew tells them how he found Lex Luthor alive and being untrusting as Lex Luthor should have been, they tussle, they fight for a, a minute until Andrew explains, I'm not with them. Lex like, hey, you serious? You're not with them? He's like, look man, I'm not with them. Lex then reveals the plans of the vampires to Andrew and also draw some of his own blood to gifts to Andrew as well. He, Andrew's like, Lex, come with me, whatever, all that kind of shit. Lex is like, no, I can't come with you. I won't survive the trip, bro. I am dying right now, literally dying right now. So get out of here, go to the Hall of Justice, tell the Justice League what's going on. We have to save the world. The vampires are planning on taking over the world. And all we see in the next panel is a vampire gorilla grod vampire gorilla grod a vampire scarecrow which is also fucking terrifying and a dead lex luthor however on his way out andrew does run into a vampire version of the riddler in which he stabs him in the eye with lex luthor's blood or whatever the fuck that shit was killing uh the riddler with the needle and from then on andrew was on the run hiding from vampires Vampires who had learned how to be able to walk amongst us during the day. And he hid his face, he hid his skin, and kept moving. Green Arrow, and that's who the fuck that is in the background. I'm sorry, but it's Green Arrow. He was also hunting Andrew because Green Arrow was hunting vampires. Hal tells Andrew that, hey, look, man, I know you're upset, but a plan to take over the world? Vampires? Are you serious? That's wild. And then... He then grabs Zahn, as you can see on that panel over there, with his ring. Turns out vampires already got to Hal Jordan. So he used his power ring to wrap up Andrew, and then he used his power ring also to tie up Zahn as well, one of the Wonder Twins. Putting him in that panel below, he put him in a makeshift blender. This is where things get a little nasty, a little graphic, because he put him in the blender and turned on the blades and proceeded to juice Zahn, the Wonder Twin, basically fucking turning him into a, the form of fucking bloody water, I guess. You know what I'm saying? He, he murdered him, basically. He, well, that was, it was terrible. Um, he took a cup, put the cup in the blender, and then took a drink of Zahn's blood. 
He's a vampire now, so why not? Andrew then asks, hey man, this doesn't make any sense. How are you able to roam around during the day if you're a vampire? And he basically explains, look man, my power ring is like a little radiator. It's like a little a small sun in, in itself. So using my power ring, yeah, I can walk around during the day. It makes no difference. But you, I'm gonna use my power ring to kill you. So he uses the power of his power ring of the sun and uses it to fucking fry Andrew. After frying Andrew, Aquaman walks in, but Using the power of his power ring, Hal Jordan's able to quickly clean up the mess. He uses his power ring to clean up the dust, and then he also uses his power ring to send, take the blender and put all the blood down the drain so Aquaman doesn't see anything. Meanwhile, Alfred pulls up to the Batcave. He's all like, hello, Master Bruce. A strange man stopped by the cave earlier today. He left a very important note. He said it was urgent. Turns out that man was Andrew. He did not go straight to the Hall of Justice. Turns out Andrew stopped at Wayne Manor first to deliver this note. And I'll read this note out loud for you guys. The note says, I know coming here like this is dangerous and I apologize, but I have nowhere else to go. I need your help. The world needs your help. We have met before and I hope you might remember me. My name is Andrew Bennett, and I come to you now in my most desperate hour. My journey here has not been easy. I have been forced to run, hide, fight, and now I fear it comes all to an end one way or another. I am alone. I am afraid. I am a vampire being hunted. I don't know exactly who they are. They could be anyone. They draw closer with every passing day. And then Alfred says, he also wanted me to tell you that Lex Luthor might just have saved the world. Boom. And that is end of issue one. DC versus vampires. You guys still here? Go ahead and hit that like and follow button. Thank you so much for hanging out. Woo! That was a lot. Stay tuned for part two. It's about to be tight.